here would like to share the introduction on QAM. QAM is quadrature amplitude modulation which is widely used in digital modulation technique that allows large amount of data to be transmitted over various communication channels. It also combines amplitude modulation AM and phase modulation PM to efficiently encode and transmit digital uh, information. The term quadrature is simply referring to QAM because of the use of two carriers that are 90 degrees out of phase with each other. These carriers are called in phase I carrier and the quadrature Q carrier. By wearing the amplitude and phase boot carriers, QAM can encode a constellation of points in two dimensional signal space where each point represents a unique combination of amplitude and phase. Hi, my name is Muhammad Abid Darius and I'm from Group 5. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about block diagram for QAM modulator. Okay, first, as you can see, uh, this is the block diagram for QAM modulator. And then, on the next one, is the block diagram for QAM demodulator. Moving on to the working principle. In the QAM transmitter, the above section, product modulator and local oscillator are called the in-phase channel and product modulator and local oscillator are called a quadrature channel. Both output signal of the in-phase channel and quadrature channel are sub, so the resultant output will be QAM. At the receiver level, the QAM signal is forwarded from the upper channel of the receiver and lower channel, and the resultant signal are product modulator are forwarded from LPF1 and LPF2. These LPFs are fixed to the cutoff frequency of input 1 and input 2 signals. Then, the filter outputs are recover original signals. Okay, this is the input carrier of QAM and output form output waveform of QAM. Next is methodology. This is our project design. So for our project design consists of rectangular QAM modulator baseband, AWGN channel, rectangular QAM demodulator baseband, and constellation diagram. Hi, ma'am. Uh, I am Sundram. So I'm going to explain about um, the block diagram that was um, simulated using the Simulink software by our group. So here we have a random integer. So random integer gives um, a digital input to our rectang uh, core modulator baseband. So what does our core modulator does? So our core modulator encodes um, digital data uh, which are one and zeros into radio wave uh, radio frequency waves that are suitable for wireless transmission so let's say for example we have a uh, um, four quam um, modulator so um, two two data are selected first and then they are divided into two two branches so depending on the value of the incoming signal which are ones and zero it determines the amplitude or uh, amplitude of the signal in each branches okay later the carrier signal is then multiplied uh, by the by the amplitude in both branches but the only difference is they are shifted in a um, 90, 90, 90 degree space in respect of um, each another this make them a quadrature signal so as you can see here they are the signals are multiplied and then added together which are as, 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 as we can see here they are multiplied and added together which makes them a quadrature signal so the the branches which are separated are called in phase signal and quadrat quadrature signal. I did them both together results a modulator signal ready for transmission. So we can see here we we multiply the signal with carrier wave and add them together and then we can transmit them to a um, transmission channel. So the transmitted uh, signal we can um the modulator signal can be observed uh, using an IQ diagram where X axis is in phase part and the Y axis is the is the quadrature part so this is the in phase part and this is the quadrature part so connecting the center of the graph to the symbol point tells the amplitude of the uh, signal while counterclockwise angle from the X axis correspond to the phase of each signal 
So this is the phase of each signal and this is the amplitude of each signal. And in our um, project, in our experiment, we were using a 60 qualm modulator. So um, this is the uh, we have we take um, four bit per per in one time, and then we have on um, 16 dots in our IQ um, QI graph, and then um, sorry, uh, we can see here that um, uh, so this is the channel and this is the uh, diagram. Okay, and then later, lastly, um, we are at the demodulator. The process are pretty much the same. So the carriers and the quadrature are multiplied by the amplitude and added together to get the output. So uh, that that's all about uh, the rod diagram that that we did, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, so for the result. For result QAM modulator baseband, this is the output from rectangular QAM modulator baseband. Transition or shift of amplitude, phase and data symbol of 16 QAM. It can be used in a variety of different formats 16 to 64 QAM, 64 to 256 QAM and so on. Next result is constellation diagram. As shown, this is output from constellation diagram. The constellation point is usually in a square grid. It can also be used in a hexagon or triangle grid. The QAM order increases, so the distance between the different points on the constellation diagram decreases and there is a higher possibility of data errors being introduced. Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Hajarul Elia binti Nazarin from Group 5. This is the output waveform of the demodulated wave and the modulated wave. Analog QAM modulated two carriers 90 degrees out of phase with each from two analog input streams. The modulated carriers are combined and transmitted. And this is the MATLAB coding and from the coding, we got constellation diagram and the modulated signal. It can be observed that the result for the coding is equivalent to the simulating result. Hello, my name is Amina Razana. I will present the result of simuli. This is a code for Quadra amplitude modulate. Uh, I put uh, this is the is a uh, sixty. So when we uncross constellation, this is the transition or shift of amplitude, base and data symbol or sixty qam. It can be used to variety of different different format as the 60 to 64 QAN, 64 to 250 CQAN, and so on. Then, I, when I run all the circuit, the constellation, this is the output of the constellation. This is the point are uh, usually in a square grid, also in a hexagon or triangle grid. The QAM order increase, so the distance between the different points on the constellation diagram decrease and there is a higher possibility of data errors being introduced. Uh, uh, this is the IPU waveform, the change of board signal waveform, analog QAM modulate two carriers 90 degrees out of pace with each form to analog input streams. The modulate carriers are combined and transmit. <laughs> this is the uh, input waveform in the is the output for uh, for combine of term transmission this is the result that I got so that's for this experiment evaluates the performance of the QAM system by measuring parameters such as signal to noise ratio these metrics help assess the system's ability to transmit data accurately and efficiently in various channel conditions the performance characteristics of quadrature amplitude modulation are essential for evaluating the quality and efficiency of a QAM based communication SNR measures the strength of the received signal compared to the background noise in this channel. A higher SNR indicates a more robust signal and better resistance to noise interference. 
The constellation diagram visually represents the signal points in the complex plane. It provides insights into the signal quality, including the separation between adjacent points. The presence of distortion of noise and overall signal stability, spectral efficiency refers to the amount of data that can be transmitted per unit of bandwidth. QAM is known for its high spectral efficiency, allowing more bits to be transmitted within a given frequency range compared to other modulation schemes. Power efficiency measures how eff effectively the transmitted power is utilized to achieve a certain data rate. QAM is capable of transmitting higher data rates using a lower power compared to other modulation techniques, making it power efficient. System capacity refers to the maximum number of users or data streams that can be supported by a QAM-based communication system within a given bandwidth. Higher order QAM schemes such as 64 QAM or 256 QAM offer higher data rates but may have limitations on system capacity due to increased signal complexity and sensitivity to noise. QAM performance can be affected by various channel impairments such as fading, multipath propagation and interference. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christy Soren Kadresen. My matrix number is B082110256. So, I'm going to discuss about the conclusion. In a nutshell, quadrature amplitude modulation is a widely used modulation scheme in telecommunications and digital communication systems. It combines both amplitude modulation and phase modulation to transmit digital information over a carrier wave. Quadrature amplitude modulation is a powerful and widely adopted modulation technique that enables efficient data transmission, robustness against noise, <laughs> compatibility with ex exciting systems and flexibility in choosing different constellation sizes understanding the trade-offs and choosing an approximate QAM scheme based on the specific requirements of the communication system is key to achieving reliable and high-speed data communication